To my channel my name is amanda marie if you're new to my channel then welcome if you're already a part of the family then welcome back fam thank you guys for coming over and watching another perfume video with me just to give you a quick little intro i love fragrances that's what my channel is about i do talk about other things sometimes like hair makeup clothes but for the most part i talk about fragrances so if fragrances is your thing as well i would love for you to subscribe all right this video is going to be kind of like an updated video i did put a video out about four months ago where i talked about some of my favorite middle eastern fragrances and since then i've added more to my collection so i wanted to share those with you some of them you probably have already heard me talk about um i think that two of them i got last year in pr and i talked about them then i don't know if i've mentioned them in any video since but we're gonna get into it today okay let's go ahead and get started the first one is cal tot night you guys have heard me talk about this fragrance recently i want to say about maybe sometime in january i got this fragrance and this is from atar collection <sighs> simply put this is a gorgeous gorgeous fragrance it's a little bit uh spicy it's woodsy it's sweet it's a gourmand in my opinion it reminds me a lot of angel share by killian it also reminds me a little bit of um what's it called mercedes-benz black club black that one so it is a beautiful vanilla scent i get a lot of vanilla in this fragrance creamy type of fragrance very sexy very beautiful if you love angel share you will love this one i want to say there's a note of cherry in this fragrance that's what it is it's cherry vanilla maybe caramel it's gorgeous y'all it is so delicious like mm, it smells so good so love this i love the bottles it reminds me of like a mosque in dubai just gorgeous like the bottle the design on it is just simply gorgeous i love this in the box that i have uh the design on the bottle matches the box so my intention is to get uh, add more fragrances from a tar collection um into my collection because i really do love them it's very elegant and someone told me a tar collection was a sister store to another um middle eastern brand i feel like comment down below if you know the sister uh company or brand with Atar that's affiliated with Atar. I can't remember, but they are from uh, the Middle East as well. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful scent. I do have a uh, link down below with a 10% discount if you're interested in purchasing this fragrance. I know a few of you have already. If you have this fragrance, comment down below. Let the girls know how you feel about it, okay? This next fragrance is from the house of Swiss Arabian. This is Casablanca. Now, I know the bottle still looks full, and yes, I haven't really, like, dived into this fragrance like I should have, but I feel like I don't know where to place it. Do I wear it in summer? Do I wear it in the fall? I feel like it could be very versatile in that way, but when I first got it last summer, I think I got it last summer, I was wearing it then. But it's, I feel like I can wear it anytime and I really need to wear it a little bit more. It actually reminds me of another Middle Eastern fragrance I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Okay, so in this fragrance in the top you get grape and apple. In the middle you get white woods, iris, and patchouli. In the base you get caramel, amber, suede, musk, and peru balsam. So this fragrance is giving sweet because of those fruity notes in the top spray is amazing oh it opens up very bright very sweet 
this is gorgeous this is a really really beautiful set i got it off of amazon and i want to say i spent less than 50 dollars for it so if you are into more affordable type of fragrances i would definitely highly recommend this and i would say it's very feminine it's nothing even even though it's made by swiss arabian which is a middle eastern company there's nothing nothing whatsoever that reminds me of the middle east in this fragrance so sometimes fragrances from the middle east can come off very oody very heavy on the incense you know very heavy this one is not it's light it's bright it has a fruity sweetness to it it has a caramel in it a little bit of a woodsy type of dry down it's amazing. I give this one a 10 out of 10. I actually should wear it more. I, I want to wear it more. I just can't wear it to work. But trust and believe. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be wearing this real soon. Trust me. Super feminine, gorgeous. I mean a guy could wear this one as well, but um I think it would come off a little bit too feminine for him. But you never know. To each his own child, to each his own. But I love this. This is gorgeous. Casablanca from Swiss Arabian. Okay, so my next fragrance is Opulent Musk from La Tapa, I believe. Is this La Tapa? Yes, La Tapa. They are a Middle Eastern fragrance house, okay? And I feel like La Tapa makes some really good dupes. This, in my opinion, is a dupe between uh, Oud for Greatness, okay? and Baccarat Rouge 540. That's what I get. I can't say it's 100% Baccarat and I can't say it's 100% Oud for Greatness. They do have Oud for Glory by La Tapa, which is a really beautiful dupe for Inicio's Oud for Greatness. I mean, it's literally, you guys, like 98, 99% spot on dupe because I do have a decant of Oud for Greatness by Anisio, and they smell similar, very similar, okay? But when I smell this one and I compare it to the Baccarat, mm, it doesn't have the sweetness that that Baccarat has, okay? This one really reminds me more of Oud for Greatness or Oud for Glory. But it is a beautiful scent. In the top, you get white musk, you get saffron, you get lemon, in the middle, you get jasmine, white flowers. In the base, you get more musk, cedar, amber, resin, and fur resin. Now, in the Baccarat, there are two notes in Baccarat that are in this fragrance. The saffron, I want to say, I want to say cedar. Don't quote me on that. And I think fur resin is in Baccarat as well. It's very Baccarat-esque, okay? Very beautiful scent, another Amazon purchase, and I want to say again, I spent less than $50 on this fragrance. It's simply beautiful. The bottle is gorgeous, okay? This is Opulent Musk by La Tapa. Here is a fragrance that really reminds me of Baccarat. This is the last <laughs> Baccarat dupe-esque fragrance I'm ever buying. I literally have so many Baccarat dupes or smell-alikes or clones, whatever you want to call them. I have too many of them and I'm done buying anything that smells even close to Baccarat because I have a Baccarat and I have the extract. I ain't buying no more dupes, okay? This was actually a blind buy. And what's crazy is at the time, I was looking for the note breakdown on Fragrantica and they didn't have it because I wanna say there are two other fragrances that look exactly like this in the same bottle, same packaging, same everything. They just have different names. And they didn't have the note breakdown on Fragrantica because I like to, when I'm getting ready to buy a fragrance, I do use Fragrantica as a reference to kind of see what people are saying about it and the ratings and the note breakdown and all that good stuff. You know, I like to compare, especially if I'm blind buying because I hate blind buying a fragrance that I'm afraid that I'm not gonna like. At least I need to know that the fragrance is likable, okay? If, at least, if I'm reading the reviews on Fragrantica, if seven people out of 10 
like that fragrance, then I will go ahead and pull the trigger on the fragrance. But with this one, I was not able to do that. I was totally blind, okay, when I bought this. This is Barrique. I hope I'm saying that right. Barrique from Quasimat Fragrances. I want to say, oh, they're made by Rasasi. You guys remember Rasasi? Rasasi also makes um, Jasmine Wisp. All the girls was going crazy for Jasmine Wisp last summer. So this is the same house, the same brand, okay? And um, now I'm looking it up on Fragrantica. They have all the notes and everybody is comparing it to Baccarat, duh, the Extrait, and they're comparing it to cloud by ariana grande so if that gives you any indication on what this fragrance is smelling like then there you go so if you are looking for something that smells like uh baccarat rouge 540 here you go right here okay let's get into the notes in the top you have green apple bergamot orange artisma Tate Gates, I don't know, to Gates, I don't know what that is. In the middle, you have saffron, caramel, jasmine, violet, clove, uh, chamomile, and rose. In the base, you have cedar, benzoin, patchouli, vetiver, ambergris, musk, moss, and leather. So we all know that moss, oak moss, is in Baccarat, okay? I want to say cedar, I want to say fur resin fur resin is not in here but it could be the leather that's giving it like that Bosco Boscarat why am I, why do I keep saying Boscarat Boscarat type of smell I don't know but you guys when I tell you this is Boscarat this is Boscarat now I ain't gonna say it's a hundred percent Boscarat I'm gonna say it is probably more about 85% Baccarat. It's still pretty close, okay, to Baccarat a lot, okay. I'm still gonna wear it, and what's crazy is my Baccarat is probably gonna last me like forever because I have all these dupes. I really don't need to buy any more Baccarat dupes, honestly. I just can't. I'm going to try my best not to buy any more Baccarat dupes. Cause I can't, I can't. I'm almost kind of tempted to sell what I have, but I love Baccarat so much. I feel like I can, you know, wear the clones or the dupes and then, you know, a special occasion, I'll bust out the Baccarat. I even hate to do that to the original Baccarat because really you should wear your fragrances whenever you feel like it. I don't care if you're taking out the trash. If you feel like, you know, spritzing on a little Baccarat, then that's your business, okay? But I gotta use these dupes up, y'all. I gotta use them up because it's just too many. It's just too many, all right? But this is Barrique, okay? Another Amazon buy, I don't know if I mentioned that. Another Amazon buy, I wanna say I spent close to anywhere between 50 and 60 on this one, but you guys, the bottle is simply gorgeous. It is a stunner, okay? The bottle is amazing. I love the gold detail. I love the tassel. Uh, I am going to try one of the other offerings that they have. Comes in the same bottle. So be careful when you're looking for this um, bottle on Amazon. If you go down into my description, you will see my Amazon store link, okay? And I have this uh, fragrance in my store, okay? So... That way there's no confusion on what to buy. Okay, all right. This next fragrance is from the house of Afnan, okay? The same company that makes ornament. The girls went crazy for ornament last summer. I know I did. I ended up getting a bottle of ornament. It's just plain ornament, the, the one that I have, okay? The brown one. I'll put a picture up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And everybody went crazy for that fragrance. I want to say it was sold out on uh, Amazon for months, okay? Months, no one could get that fragrance. Well, they've restocked, okay? And now they've come out with this one. This is Ornament Purple Allure, okay? Gorgeous bottle, same bottle shape as the original Ornament uh, fragrance. Now, 
I don't know what's up with the top. Okay, the top is fine. Okay, uh, another Amazon buy, and I want to say I spent between 40 and 50 on this one. Let me give you guys the notes. In the top, you get mandarin orange, raspberry, grapefruit. In the middle, you get sweet notes, which is kind of looking like candy, white flowers, anise, cardamom. In the base, you get patchouli, musk, and vanilla. Now, the reason why I'm huffing and puffing is because everybody is comparing this to Aura by Mugler. And it is not. It is not Aura by Mugler. I did a side-by-side -side comparison and talked about it on my Instagram. This is not Aura, you guys. If you are a lover of Aura, this, this you're not going to get Aura out of this. I have Aura by Mugler. And when Aura opens up, it opens up with this green kind of medicinal type of smell. That is what sets these two apart. Uh, I mean, way apart. Like, ornament is over here and Aura is way over there. Okay? They not like this. They like this. Okay? No. Yes. They are two totally different scents. And I'm like, what are y'all smelling? Because I don't, <laughs> I'm not getting it. When I smell this, I smell a bright, beautiful, fruity, sweet. Like this is sweet, okay, fragrance. White floral, okay. It does have a little bit of a kind of earthiness from the patchouli, uh, I think. And maybe that's where you guys, or I shouldn't say you guys, but some people are getting that patchouli and comparing it with aura nah no no they are two totally different fragrances this is gorgeous aura is gorgeous too in its own right aura is just a different kind of animal okay it's gorgeous i love it i don't wear it that often only in the winter time because it does have this medicinal scent that in the opening that lasts probably about 30 or 40 minutes to me but these are two different fragrances. If you are into sweet, fruity fragrances, you will adore this fragrance. It is so gorgeous. It's very, very feminine. It's just beautiful, okay? And what's crazy is it's called Purple Allure. And I don't know if it's because the name is stuck in my head, but when I smell this, it smells like the color purple. That's what this smells like. It is really gorgeous. That that vanilla mixed in with those fruity notes makes it creamy as well. Like this is the type of fragrance that I can't stop sniffing. It smells so good. It's gonna go, man, this fragrance is gonna be so beast mode in the summertime. Gorgeous scent. Perfect for day or night. Honestly, probably more so night because of that patchouli musk combination in the fragrance but it's gorgeous it's gorgeous i'm telling you guys i think this was in my store too i'm gonna go back and make sure all the fragrances that i mentioned in this video are in my amazon store okay the raspberry in this sets this fragrance off if you like raspberry and sweetness creamy vanilla you are like this. It's beautiful. I, I give this a 10 out of 10. Uh, I think it is a safe blind buy. If you like sweet, fruity, creamy type of scents, I think you will enjoy this a lot. This is Purple Allure, Ornaments Purple Allure by Offnon. All right, so I have two here that I've talked about in previous videos. This is Base of Poetry. And look how beautiful this bottle is. Can we see that? Gorgeous. And this is Al Souk. I'm going to say it's Al Souk. Um, let me see if you guys... I will have the name printed down below, but I want to get it so you guys can see what it says. Please excuse the hand prints on the bottle. I got both of these in PR from goldensense.com. Uh, the link is down below if you're interested in buying it. The bottles are heavy weight. I mean, gorgeous. Just look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these bottles. I love them on my display. When the light shines on it, you can see this 
beautiful Arabic print on the back. It's just gorgeous. Now, this one is base of poetry, okay? In base of poetry, you get orange, cinnamon, rose, clove, musk, and vanilla. This is so beautiful, you guys, so beautiful. I'm gonna spray a little bit. I mean, you talk about luxury. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It smells very classy, very elegant, very sophisticated. It smells like money, okay? It smells rich, that's what I'm gonna say. Sometimes you can get like a Middle Eastern um, hint in fragrances where they smell heavy on incense and oud. I don't get that in this fragrance. The cinnamon and the rose and clove and vanilla is what I get the most out of this fragrance. And it is really, really beautiful. I think this one is mostly for winter time in my opinion because of the clove. The clove does kind of almost make it a little Middle Eastern-esque, like a little Middle Eastern vibe, but it, it doesn't smell it. It doesn't smell it. If you're familiar with Middle Eastern fragrances, you know what I'm talking about. This one could smell like it was made by anybody, honestly, but that clove does give it a little bit of an incense -y type of smell. I think I would prefer to wear this in the fall, honestly. But if I wore it in the wintertime, it, I think it would perform nicely. I think it will work in that cold, cold months. You know what I'm saying? Like late uh, December, early January, you know, when it's cold, like snowing. I think it could work then, but it is really, really gorgeous. I like this one a lot. Again, if you're interested in this one, you can go down below to my link to Golden Scents and shop there. So my favorite out of the two would be this one, Maquam Al Souk. I hope I'm saying that right. Comes in the same type of bottle, beautiful Arabic uh, detail on the back. Let me see if it'll focus in enough where you can see the name. This is the one that reminds me of Casablanca. And I think it's because it has a note of uh, apple and the Casablanca had green apple in the top and grape. This one has red apple uh, in the top and it has caramel like in the middle or the base. I can't remember. Oh my God, but it is delightful. Mm. Here are the notes you get. Um, red apple, rose, musk, cedar, and caramel. It's delicious, but it does remind me a lot of Casablanca. I think Casablanca is a little bit more fruitier, okay? Um, this one is a little bit more woodsy. I think the Casablanca had patchouli in the base. This has cedar and musk in the base, so it's coming off with a little musk and a little uh, woodsy, okay? but it is gorgeous. I love the combination of the red apple and the caramel together. It just makes this fragrance so delicious and yummy and edible. I wouldn't necessarily classify it as a gourmand, but it is giving me gourmand feels, okay? But not quite. It's giving me more of a fruity, sweet, maybe white, like a floral, the rose, woody, musky fragrance. That's what it's giving me. These two fragrances, baby, they are beast mode. Beast mode. No issue with longevity, no issue with projection. They are just simply amazing. They smell rich. They smell opulent. They smell like like I'm a like I need to be in Dubai, okay, with a driver pushing a Rolls Royce, okay? That's what it smells like. Money, expensive, okay? Beautiful. Out of the two, the um Al Souk is my favorite one. And I hate that I'm not saying that right. I feel in my spirit I'm not pronouncing that right, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, if you have those two, 
comment down below on one of them comment let us know how you feel about them if you have any of these fragrances comment down below let us know how you feel about them okay we'll keep this conversation going in the comments if you are into fragrances i would love for you to join my familia okay hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell every time you uh you upload a video or i upload a video either way it goes